Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. Very excited about the beer review I'm about to do now. It's from probably my favourite brewery in the world, who are Sierra Nevada from uh, Chico, North California. And uh, this is their annual release. It's the Optimum, the Triple IPA. This is coming in at, uh, is it 11%? It is 11%. Um, the artwork, second year they've gone with this new artwork. I am a fan of the little hop guy. Hop-headed carrots on the front of it. 11% triple IPA from Sierra Nevada. Every time this comes out, it's always an absolute classic. Um, and I'm expecting no different from this one. Uh, free 50 ml bottle. I got this one directly from the Sierra Nevada UK website. Um, I'm going to pour it into a Sierra Nevada glass because I'm a nerd. Um, I need a bottle opener, which is there. Thank you. And stuck to it is another bottle opener. Sport for choice. Um, not much in the way of flavour text written on this. But yeah, Optimum 2024. A 2024 appearance. Yeah, Triple IPA, Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, Chico. And obviously Mills River in uh, North Carolina, which is the uh, the one which export most of the Sierra Nevada beers that we get here in the UK. Um, obviously because they're a little bit closer. So yeah. Bottle opening, a little bit of smoke on that. Sierra Nevada bottle cap, classic. Let's get it out. One thing I always say about Sierra Nevada beers is the drinkability of them, the balance of them. There's very few breweries, in my opinion, that brew crazy strong ABV beers yet have a drinkability of one that with about half as much, half the strength. Um, let's put that there so we can see it. Hoptimum 2024, so it's a West Coast IPA. A triple West Coast IPA. There she is. It looks like a West Coast IPA. There is a slight haze, lovely amber, dark gold colour to it. Crazy carbonation flowing up that. It looks a picture. Let's get me snout in, which is also holding onto a finger of head for an 11% beer. Again, it's hanging onto the head. That's quality ingredients right there. Have a sniff. Get me nose and see what the aromas are telling us. Oh, big, juicy, marmalade kind of orange, hoppy character coming through. Slightly floral, citrusy, grapefruit. It smells like a big, piney West Coast IPA. Salivating, making me mouth for. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that is boozy. That is boozy. Not for the faint-hearted, this one. It is probably boozy. It's not hiding that 11%, uh, this particular iteration of it. There is a sweetness to it. There is a citrusy, orangey, zesty, no, it's really quite strong on arrival. And then there's a lovely piney bitterness at the back end. Um, but again, I'm going to use that word again, that for me is synonymous with Sierra Nevada beers, balance. You can tell it's strong. You can tell it's strong, but that's all up front. There's that sweetness up front. It's got body to it considerable amount of body it really coats the palate nice levels of carbonation it really helps bring through the flavor and the amount of carbon that's gone into this but that finish is extraordinary it's absolutely extraordinary it's big piney almost dank juicy bitter finish it's all there's abundance of it all so much going on with it but because there's so much going on with it, you forget that it's an 11% beer. It's not It's not the overriding feature of this beer, the strength of it at all. It's not at all. It's just, this just tastes like a kind of, a, just a, a standard West Coast IPA, like a sort of a 65 to 8% West Coast IPA. I don't know if you can hear that. There's dogs going absolutely mad around here somewhere. Bloody hounds. 
wolves going off. Anyway, back to the beer. But yeah, it's big and piney. It's piney and it's zesty. The, the aroma really carries through. It's not deteriorating in any way. And it really carries through on the flavour. Big flavour. Big, juicy, dank, piney, bitter finish. There's my bloody doorbell. Everything's going off today, apparently. Jesus. Um, this is a cracking beer. It really is good. There's so much going on with it. And like I say, it hides that 11% very, very well, which is always a sign of a good beer. Um, yeah, it's just another worldie from Sierra Nevada. I don't know what else to say. If you like your big West Coast IPAs, this is what you want. This is what you want, really. Sierra Nevada do a cracker. Um, Torpedo is their, like, their core range West Coast IPA. And they've done a few different versions of it in the last few months. They've knocked out like, a cold hop version. They've knocked out a cryo hop version of it. Um, yeah, they've knocked out quite a few different versions of Torpedo. Hoptimum for me is just like a triple version of Torpedo. And they say it's just got all the classic, juicy, piney, bitter characteristics of a good West Coast IPA, all just amped up. Amped up to 11, literally. Cranked up to 11. Um, but yeah, despite that, it's not. it doesn't taste mad. You're aware that it's a strong beer, but it doesn't taste that strong. It just tastes like a good... Good quality, hoppy, boozy, West Coast IPA. Um, Sierra Nevada, the Masters. I've been saying it for a long time. I'm a massive fan. I love what they do. And this particular beer, Hoptimum, never disappoints. Um, I do recommend going onto the Sierra Nevada website and seeing if you can get some. I mean, I'm putting this out. It's September now. I've had I've had been sitting on these for a few weeks. I bought a load of bottles. And I've been working my way through them. Um, I finally got around to recording a video. They might actually already be gone, so this video might be a little bit useless by the time you see it. But um, have a look. Sierra Nevada, UK. Um, if you can get some, I really do recommend it. It's quality. Just absolute quality. From a triple West Coast IPA, the drinkability on it is extraordinary. Um, this goes into my beer of the year list every year. And... This is going to be no exception. Sorry, my light just moved over there. It's all going on today. Um, this is going to be no different. It's a top, top quality triple West Coast IPA from Sierra Nevada. Once again, um, Hoptimum triple IPA 2024 version. It's a solid 10 out of 10 for me. It doesn't really get any better than that, really. In terms of drinkability and strength, quality, it's all there. It's a wonderful beer and I absolutely adore it. Well done again, Sierra Nevada. Masters of what they do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Until my next one, you take care.